Hello friends, in this video I am covering two new formulas which are coming in Excel 2019 and Office 365 subscription. One is sequence and other, another is RAND array. So let's start with what is sequence. So before uh, beginning with what formula will do, I am, I am showing here some example here. For this, I required serial number. One option is I am typing manually one, two, three. Or another option, I just do this value plus one. And I just copy paste this. So instead of using this to old method for getting that serial number, I can use sequence formula. The syntax of sequence formula is that you have to type sequence and then number of rows that to be covered and number of columns, start step, start value and steps. So here I will tell you, I just type sequence, comma, then I have to show for how many numbers I want that sequence. Suppose I am typing for 10 rows and for column if I uh, put this as a blank then uh, it's taken as a one value. Also for what value it should be start if I am making it a blank it will start with a one and step it will be taken as a blank or instead of this I can just type sequence and bracket close. So see it's give me the sequence of number now one two three is automatically coming. I can change the I required sequence till this number I will change to this. So I will get the sequence of this number. Another example for sequence is because I required sequence in two columns. So I will type start till 10 row and detail in two columns and then bracket close. Now I get the sequence in two columns, one, two, three, four, two columns and 10 rows. So the syntax has third option like start digit. Suppose I want my value sequence serial number to be start with five. So I will type here five. So I will get the sequence start from five. And the last syntax which is steps. So here you see it's going one by one step. Number one is added. So if I want that it's going to be five value to be added. So I will type five here or even 10 I suppose. Then say it's 5, 15, number, after 10, it's coming the value. So this is very easy formula, just general use is for the serial number, you can use it. So even if you suppose by, if you insert some new row here, this formula will remain here. So hope you understand what is sequence. So only the first row is the mandatory, other is non-mandatory. If you not mention that, just close the bracket. Now another function is rand array. Uh, it is a mixture of rand and rand between option which are available in Excel 2013, up to Excel 2013. So rand array is just for preparing uh, array of function randomly between what value you give. So let's see how it works. Suppose I have to make some, some sample database here. I have to mention invoice number here. I, I will not enter that invoice number manually. I will use the formula rand array. And for number of row, I required this value. I suppose I type for 10 rows. For number of column, I type one. My minimum value should be I will type 1000 and then my maximum value I will type 5000. I want invoice number between 1000 to 500. In integer I want value in non-decimal because my number cannot be in a invoice number cannot be in a decimal. So I will type true here and bracket close. Now say I have an invoice number list. Also same I can type invoice date. I type rand array required for 10 column, one, 10 rows, one column and date, I suppose I want date between this to one and you have, uh, you have to just mention, you have to mention this date in inverted comma, otherwise this formula will not work. Bracket close. I will get the invoice date. Also for invoice value, rand array, total rows, one column. And the maximum value, suppose I want this to be from 
1 lakh to 10 lakh I get only thing is that you have to just freeze this formula here so select all and freeze this otherwise it will be changed at every time so it's very easy formula like suppose instead of uh, here if I mention it's 100 I will get invoice number till 100 rows so I can get my database in just a few seconds by using Rand Thanks for watching this video.